Hey guys, exciting day. I just got a Kuzi Max food slicer, CMFS 200. Way better than the 100 model. I have no idea. Let's unbox this. Of course, Amazon put a line right across so you can't even really see what it looks like. And let's go. Maybe. All right. Right off the bat, dangerous, sharp edge. Every manual. We have the machine itself. Pretty cool. They have, uh, they put some safety guards on it and stuff. All right, this folds out. It's pretty fancy. This comes apart. Some grippies on there. Rubber band here. There's a little dial back here. There we go. There, we're no longer safe. All right, so let me take some of this apart and wash it up real quick, and then we'll test it out. Okay, we're back. So I washed that off. Uh, I have some ham here. There's like a ham roast guy, boneless. I have some brisket flat here. And I have um, a truck roast here. Uh, these two may be kind of follow party. I'm not sure how, how good it's, it's gonna work on those. The ham should be good though. And just wanted to note, this also came with a um, another slicey guy. Uh, but he's um, he's serrated, so I'm not sure what I'm going to use that one for. I guess you use that one on, I don't know. If the, the regular one's having trouble, then you use the serrated one, perhaps. I may have to look at the instruction there. We have not opened it yet. Let's see how this thing works. Uh, I'll put a link down below. I got this on Amazon. I bought it a couple days ago. Uh, Koozie Max. So I was looking at different reviews. I didn't want to spend a lot of money. Um, I've always wanted one though, but I also wanted one that wasn't going to break. Uh, I could, when I took this off, I did see some plastic gears in there, but they looked a little bit beefy. So let me see if I can get a good angle so you guys can see what's going on. This might be good. Come right out here, I go boop, right on the uh, right on the thing. Let's try the ham first. It's kind of annoying. Well, this wouldn't be in the way if I had it normally, because I'd normally be doing it that way. So let's go ahead and try this out. So this was a boneless ham I did the other day. I was gonna get ham steaks for dinner. And then realized, you know what? It's uh Cheaper, just getting the whole ham roast. Uh, put it on the smoker, put a nice bourbon glaze on it. it smells really good. Uh, on the smoker though, I had it like 225, 250 most of the time and the, the skin did get pretty, pretty tough. So this, this might be a good test. Be a good test for this guy. 
All right, who's ready? All right, so the bottom of this ham is kind of rounded out, so it might be some funny slices at first. And I don't know where to have this uh, thickness set yet. Would have set it to, I don't know, what looks like that. There's numbers on here, zero through 15. Um, I'm at the first little tick. Am I? Now I am. Right, let's turn it on. It's going kind of slow. I don't know if I need to let it speed up. Might have topped out. Here we go. pretty awesome. Check this out. Can you see how thin it is? Let me see if I can make it a tiny bit thinner. This is perfect though. This is like what you'd get at the, de at the deli, at the store. All right, let me try to go a tiny bit thinner. All right, here we go. There we go. What do you want next? Oh, some uh, brisket? No problem. Okay, let me fold these a little bit better here. Oh, you quit it. That was pretty cool. So that, the last one, here's, get off of there. See-through. All right, I'm gonna get a different plate for the brisket. That's perfect. Let's go back any further. All right, we'll just try it. Try like this. Let's see how it goes. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go a little thicker. See how that works. All right, hold on. It's not getting a good push on it because it's like at an angle. Now we're starting to get somewhere. A little thicker. There we go. I think we're we're about at the end of it here. So I guess you're usually le left with a little bit like that. So here's some brisket lunch meat. <laughs> Pretty thin. All right, let's go on to the uh, chuck roast. All right, here's our chuck roast. Cut it in half. So we're gonna have some more like uh, bread size pieces as I push it through. And I'm gonna keep that same thickness I was just doing. Let's see how it goes. Good. 
in some pieces. It has to square up the back of it, I think, is what has to go on. And then you start to get some nice... Yeah, it's pretty good. Nice and thin. All right, let me finish this up. We'll come back for a recap. Hey guys, that's it. So I ended up doing that whole ham, uh, the brisket I had left, and then half of the, uh, the chuck roast. I want to save the rest of that chuck roast for something else. Yeah, I'm going to try some of this. Nice thin pieces. So I think this was about $100. $115 maybe. It's like I just got back from the deli. All right. Brisket, almost see-through. Mm. That's gonna be nice on a sandwich. And what about this chuck roast, huh? I know I showed you. Look at it again. Pretty crazy. This thing, totally worth it. So good. All right, I'm gonna bag these up, put them in the fridge, clean this guy off. This stuff all just, I mean, that comes off. This looks like it does not come off. However, you can wipe it pretty easily. Uh, you can get down here, wipe this. Uh, this is just a, you twist this knob, twist that knob uh, clockwise, pops out, and then you can get that, that blade off. And you can just adjust the, uh, the depth back here. Yeah, I love it. That was the recap. Let me know what you guys think. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.